Carpal tunnel syndrome is a common problem affecting the hand and wrist. Symptoms include any combination of pain, numbness, and tingling in the hand. Very commonly, symptoms occur at night, waking you from sleep. All of the fingers except the little finger are usually involved. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when the pressure within the tunnel increases, putting pressure on the median nerve, usually from enlargement of the tissue surrounding the tendon in the tunnel. What causes this is largely unknown. Surgery is often recommended when non-surgical treatments such as rest, medications, and a splint fail to relieve symptoms. There are two basic types of surgery for carpal tunnel syndrome, open carpal tunnel release and endoscopic carpal tunnel release. The following depicts open carpal tunnel release. All carpal tunnel releases cut the transverse carpal ligament, which forms the roof of the carpal tunnel, taking pressure off the median nerve. To begin, a small incision is made in the palm over the carpal tunnel to access the transverse carpal ligament. The ligament is divided, the skin is closed and a dressing is applied. Your wrist and hand will be wrapped in a soft dressing and you may wear a splint to provide support and promote healing. You will be able to move your fingers immediately after surgery and are encouraged to do so. You should avoid heavy grasping or pinching motions for several weeks. Your doctor may recommend that you participate in occupational or physical therapy to gain strength and coordination. It may take several months for strength in the wrist and hand to return to normal. Recovery from carpal tunnel surgery is individualized and depends on the extent of the condition. Your doctor will let you know what to expect.